Who is your favorite actor? Uh, male or female? Male. Male? Um, Mr. Marcus. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a trip. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's cool. Oh, he's a nice person. Yeah, he's nice. That's a, that really? I remember I was on top of him. He pinned me down. And I could, I like really couldn't get up. He's like, I'm gonna come inside you. I was like, no. no. I mean, he's a little notorious for that, you know. What I mean? <laughs> did he come inside you? Yes, he did. Oh, what the fuck, really? In the scene? I think so. I guess. Well, he could have got pregnant, huh? No, I was on all types of birth control. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the wildest sex encounter you've ever had on the set? On the set? But not during shooting. Shh. Offset. Off but on set. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Offset, but on set. You know, sneaking around sneaking in the, around and fucking the beautiful sneaking. bathrooms or back rooms. I'm trying to think of which one would have been the best. Because you had a lot of fun I, in the I, back rooms? I've had a lot of fun behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs> our, it's our it's open, a dream, right? Our, our open backyards. Yeah. Um... Sneaking around the back Sneaking side, the anywhere. Back side, I mean. For a five, five minute quickie. Fuck it. I, I can honestly say I think one of the orgies brown and round probably was because like before the scene even starts and all these girls are just in bathing suits <sighs> and getting dressed and getting oiled up and you're like, cool, you're in the bathroom by yourself right now, huh? Okay, cool. And then you just go behind her and close the door and, you know, stick it in for a few and those were the good times. I think Brown and Round was my favorite orgy because I loved all those girls the most. Those were the best. You know, for me, I liked those girls. But it was the hardest one to shoot because you have had different gang members. You're a crip and you see a, and a, a, somebody with CK on his arm. Right. What are you like? You're like, who do it's you know? It's a problem. You got a, yeah, like, one of my people? Like you're trying to right. like... And then you got the girls, you got girls that are banging, and you got girls that are going to college, and you got girls that are just punks. Right. Right? And it's all like... All on the same set. So it's all like some crazy, wild organization of different, you know, tribes almost. That you're trying to get to be on the same accord and... Uh, to work. To work and be on the same, like... Wave path at the same time to yeah, do good, it's, you it's, know what I mean? Because trying to do an orgy is like, you, you know, it's like one of those things where you, what you're trying to do is really get everybody like moving and going at the same speed and the same motion and the same, you know, being in, intuitions to be into it. Like you're supposed to be, you know, like infatuated with whoever's in front of you, whether you like this guy or not, or whether this is the guy you want to fuck right now or not, mm -hmm. you're still treating him like, you know, he was the guy you came for today, you know, and so. so to keep everybody energized the right. and at the same harmony for all those hours from all these different hoods. And some girls that are just totally schoolgirls that they don't even aren't even part of anything is a trip, right? Did it you see crazy. that? Did it, you re it was, recognize that? It was a lot. One of the girls back then, um, I took her to the hood. So she's hanging out with me and my cousin and some of the homies from the hood. We are, I end up just like. I like come around in the back of my friend's truck and just started fucking her on the outside. That was beautiful, right? Is it? Tell me how beautiful it is to take so all those beautiful. pretty girls home. Oh, it was so beautiful, right? And so we had to take her and this other girl. We were all going to go to this little bar or whatever and hang out. Her and this other girl weren't getting along. And so I'm in the back seat between her and the other girl. One of them starts stroking my dick. This wasn't the one I fucked behind the thing. So the other one starts looking at me like, I'm like, man, and I put her hand on my dick too, like stroke it together. So they both start stroking it. And then she like rips her arm hand off of my dick. And I'm like, and the other one gets mad and they just reach over me in the backseat of my cousin's car going down Crenshaw while we're driving and start fighting right in the backseat. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, pull over in the liquor store, pull over. Man, open the door and they just going at it in the parking lot. Boom, boom, boom. Cops pull up and all of this shit. They shot for you and everything. I can't remember the girl's name. I think it was Chocolate or something. Her name was Nice Big Bubble Chocolate Butt and then some other girl. Oh, wow, that's a trip, huh? It was crazy. That's pretty funny. I was like, man, this is what happens. This is what happens that's when cool. the ones from the... Oh, fuck, yeah. I mean, that's like, it makes you feel good. It, we, They're we fighting like, over two girls, right. fighting over your dick. Right. It was pretty fucking Literally, cool. not just... And still, I right fucked there. them both. And you still fucked, fucked them both. That was crazy, though. When I originally started Urban X Awards, um, it was really to recognize our ethnic people. Um, 
because they weren't getting recognized. As the years went on, um, I, I opened it up for everyone because what I didn't want to happen was I didn't want anyone to feel the way that we felt. I didn't want anybody to feel like they're being alienated and they're not welcome or they have no chance. So I opened it up for, you know, everybody, black, white, Latin, Asian, Indian. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not a race thing. You know what I mean? So it, it's a who's making great product and who, who deserves to be recognized. I'll ask you a, another wild question or kind of a fun question. Let's say there's an alien chick. There's aliens and they reveal themselves into the population, right? And they, <laughs> <laughs> right? And they're no, not, was, they're, hold on, they're not as pretty as other girls, but then, you know, the stuff is going to be superb, supreme, like you like to call it. I'll right? fuck an alien. <laughs> You're down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because before you answer the question, I know that this is your show. So you have to be prepared to have interesting interaction. And it made me just say, TT boy thought of this fucking crazy shit. He's going to ask me, if I will fuck an alien, which is actually interesting. It's really interesting. As simple as it might seem, like, Yo, who the fuck cares about an alien, man? Next, you know, this is that people will tune. They, 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 they're like, that. that's actually interesting. Uh, how much fun? It's might, might, interesting. It might be fun. It might be fun. I mean, yeah. What if they're, you know, here's the thing. They can electrocute you inside. Oh, ah, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, not, not only that, but what if you came across one that was just like, like, kind of just like, like, this. you looking at me with these huge eyes and this <laughs> weird, they, like the, this weird triangle kind of shape. Like the land of the lost eyes. Yeah, this, this, this it seems pretty interesting. It, it might be fun. I mean, would you have second thoughts? You'd be just like, let's do it. Um, I probably would have second thoughts. The, the reason why I would have second thoughts is because I would think, like, is this a, a number one? Oh, wait, hold on. No, because if then more than likely they've been tested and, <laughs> you know, they're not harmful to humans yeah, in any type of way. They're, they're just, you know, a new species that we've accepted. And, hey, you're going to see an alien when you step outside today. They, you know, but they drive. This is how they, oh, they float. They're whatever they can fly. Oh, the alien. And, um. Who knows? Maybe they might not have a vagina. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But if they did have one, and they were male aliens and female aliens, I I I I I will I will hump an alien just for the experience, just to you know what I'm saying, just to see what it might. It might be fun. It might be exciting. Maybe their vaginas could do something cool that regular human women can't do, or maybe they might be freakier. Maybe they might they should might vibrate naturally. You don't have to, or it might. Well, I want to talk to you about that. Hold on. Yeah. yeah right. Totally. You never know what could happen. What, what it might happen? be radical. Yeah. It, like they might electrocute you while you're inside, and it just enough to get you. Woo. Yeah. You know. To where it's like a different. What if the orgasm? What if they could give you an orgasm that you never had before in your life? Well, so now yeah. you fucking regular girl, what, motherfucking aliens. <laughs> What if they shoot you up with drugs in your penis while you're having sex? And you know, just word, you never know what it could be. Mm. Yeah. You don't want to be a loser. Don't want to be a loser. Even if she don't want you to win. Most of the times the girls is cool, but then you got some that they'll just sit there like, why are you trying? And it's like, bitch, like, come yeah. on now. We in this together. Cut a stack. Come on, bitch. Come on. Let's go. It was never that way before. In my time. No, no, it Never. wasn't. And I, and I could see how it wasn't. Because it was more of a tighter net, more, yeah. not as many people. Now you got Joe Smo and everybody putting X's on the back of their name, thinking they're porn stars, right. and did one fucking scene. I yeah. wish I, I'm, I'm going to protest that shit. You can't, <laughs> I'm taking X's off the back of motherfuckers' names this year, yo. I'm helping I'm, you. I'm taking X's off the back of you motherfuckers. You get one X. God damn it. You got work to that 3X. Because we put in a lot of work for that oh, shit, shit to be a porn star. And I'm tired of all these internet motherfuckers and talking about they porn stars and you're not.